something that always comes up um, during my weight management consultations with my clients is the issue of exercise. Now, if you're somebody who is already exercising regularly in whatever way you do, so whether it's regular walking, running, crossfit, weights, jiu-jitsu, whatever it is, you can just carry on with it if you're already in an established routine. If you're not, there's often this inclination of, oh, when I was going to the gym, you know, I was feeling so much better and I want to get back into the gym or I want to get back into running. I totally understand that. And, and I absolutely agree with that as well. You know, exercise is really, really good for us. But sometimes when we're trying to do or trying to make too many changes at once, it can actually really sabotage our goals. So, um... When we do planned exercise, um, it will always take away a certain amount of energy that we would have used for what we call non-exercise activity time or NEAT. So NEAT is what we do when we're moving around all the time, which isn't sort of planned exercise. And I know myself that if I'm sort of getting back into running and I'm building up my mileage and I build my mileage up too quickly and I wear myself out, that my NEAT goes down. And anybody who's ever sort of like trained for a marathon and um, has carried on eating freely will tell you they never lose any weight. <laughs> and they're like, oh my God, I've trained for a marathon and I'm still the same weight I was when I started. Because when we're exercising, we feel hungry because we're replenishing those fuel stores. So if you've got, if you've already got an established exercise regime, carry on with it. If you're at the point where you haven't been exercising for a long time and you need to address what you're eating, then spend time just nailing that first and figuring out what your diet plan is going to be. So when we're, when I'm working with clients, I don't give you a diet plan. You've probably lost a significant amount of weight before and you've regained it because of the reasons I've mentioned previously and will continue to um, revisit in these videos. So you know how to lose weight and you probably know what diet plan suits you. So whether it's keto or intermittent fasting or calorie counting and tracking or just reducing portion sizes, cutting out the foods that you know you can't stop eating, Whatever it is, whether it's Lighter Life, um, Slimming World, Weight Watchers, Cambridge Diet Plan, whatever strategy you've used before that works for you and you want to go back to using, just do it, nail it, and allow the weight to start coming off. Because the benefit there is that when you do then decide to layer on a regular exercise regime, is that it's going to be much, much easier on your joints, much, much easier on your body, and more enjoyable. So for the first month or two, depending on a client's starting weight, I just encourage normal activity because when you're moving a body around that's carrying three, four, five or more stone than what that skeleton was set up to carry, you're going to be burning energy. It's really hard work. If I put on a three stone bodysuit, that would be a massive struggle for me. And the, 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 the sort of um, stress on your joints is huge. So you don't wanna be going out and pounding the streets until you've really started to shed some of that weight because it's gonna be much kinder to your joints. And ultimately, when you are um, starting to introduce an exercise, exercise regime into your daily life, it can take up a significant, a significant amount of time. And what I ask my clients to focus on is the food side of things, because focusing your energy on one thing at a time just reduces the complication. It's making it lovely and straightforward. And it means that you can just stay focused. And once you've established those healthy eating habits, then you can start layering on other stuff. So my point is, <laughs> Don't stress about the exercise side of things. Nail the food, the exercise will follow. Okay, take care.